lawmakers urge you to use your legal powers as chief executive to end uh, former Senator Leila de Lima's detention, saying you can do this without interfering with the courts hearing her cases by uh, ordering the prosecutors to dismiss the charges against her or... I think urging prosecutors to do one thing or another is interfering. <laughs> uh, so that's why we... we... I, I have said we, we are very, very clear that we have the uh, uh, three departments of government at uh, siguro naman uh, hindi natin dapat eh, pabayaan natin, hindi naman natin pinagdududahan ang proseso eh. uh, if, uh, the, I think the process is, is there we are continuing uh, to uh, we are continuing to uh, uh, to monitor what is going on uh, the extent uh, I think uh, to, to, to clarify, I spoke when uh, the incident in, uh, uh, in the detention center happened in Camp Kramer. I spoke to Senator De Lima on the Sunday. Sunday. I was still in the so I remember it was a Sunday. Um, I spoke to her Sunday morning. I asked uh, Secretary Benhur Abalos to go and to find out that everything was okay, that she was okay. And I said, pasukin mo at kausapin ko. And that is what uh, I, I said. You feel. And the reason I asked, I, I wanted to speak to her was I wanted to ask her if she feels safe. If, because if she doesn't feel safe, sabi ko sa kanya, ililipat ka namin. Uh, and she said, sabi nga naman niya, na hindi naman siguro kailangan. Uh, so she never asked me to do anything uh, in terms. Yun lang yung tweet niya, yung uh, like what she tweeted, I think yesterday. Uh, that was the extent of it. So that 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 is uh, the extent of our discussion with the former senator.